All right, you have your code working up to this point, and now you're ready for some more helper functions for the max and the min. We're going to create functions for this because we're using abstraction, and this is something, a task that we can pull out, have a function do, and just call it so we don't have to worry about how it actually happens. And we'll actually be able to reuse, reuse this code as well. So the first one, we talked about this in class, is going to be def get max. I'm not calling it max because my variable is max. And I might need some parameters. If you're not sure, just start without the parameters. And as you do your code, you can get it figured out. Now, we did talk about this in class. And I showed you one or two ways to do it. So I'm going to show you one or two ways to do it here as well. It is simply an if statement. I want to find out if the new number is bigger than the max. If so, it becomes the new max. So I have if number greater than max. That's my definition. Then one way to do it is just to set a new value for max. Max equals number. And then I can return max. So I, it will be a return function. And so I'm going to come here into my get max. Inside the loop, I'm going to call this function. I need to do it inside the loop because I want to check every single number that gets entered. So instead of doing it outside the loop like we did average, I'm going to do it inside the loop. Every single number needs to get checked to see if it is the max. Now that is a return function, and I'm returning max, so that's kind of your clue that that's what I'm going to assign it to. So max equals get max. Now do I need some arguments and some parameters? Let's take a look at our code here. This particular function needs number and max in order to work. And number and max are only right here. They're not global. So in order for this to work, I have to pass in the values of number and max. And that means it has to have parameters, number and max, just the same order. Now this is one way to get the max. Another way that I showed you was to use an if else. So I could change it to return number else return max. They both do exactly the same. You might even figure out a different way of getting the max. So either way will work, or if you have your own way, that'll work too. And I'm going to do a function call. It's a return function call with the return function. Now I'm not going to do the min for you because you'll be able to figure that one out on your own. I'm just going to do the stub. So you're going to have a get min. Are you going to have parameters? Yes, you are. This time it's just going to be number and min instead of max. I'm going to put pass here because you're going to fill out the code on your own. And of course you're going to do a return function call. I'm going to return min, so therefore I'm going to assign it to min when I call it. And you're going to have two arguments, number and min, in the same order. So you should get to this point, uh, fill in your code for min, and run it, and make sure that you don't have any errors in your incremental development. And then we'll be ready to do our display, and this first part of the program will be finished.